That's been me. I don't know if it's been anyone listening to my sound of my voice today, but it's been me. I've been delivered. Oh, I was captured in Sodom and Gomorrah. And God came and sent deliverance to my life. And I went right back to where I was. I've done it many a time. But you know what the Bible says about Lot, even though that happened a lot? Second Peter chapter 2 verse 7 says, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. The man was in Sodom and Gomorrah. He was captured. He was delivered. He went back to Sodom and Gomorrah. God came to destroy it. He delivered Lot again. And the Bible calls him a just man. Why? Because a just man falleth seven times, but he gets up again. Lot got up again. Hallelujah. The end of his story wasn't destruction in Sodom and Gomorrah. He was delivered and he got back up again. And the Bible in the New Testament, many years later, writes about Lot that he was a just man. Why? Because he got up. Peter betrayed Jesus and denied he even knew him three times. And when God found him, where was he? Back in his fishing boat where he had come and he seen Peter and said, follow me, Peter. But after Peter had denied Jesus and he wept bitterly and ran off, mm -hmm. he even cursed. So they didn't think he was a disciple of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus came back after he resurrected and found, Jesus, and found Peter right back where he was before he ever started following Jesus. And what did Jesus do? He didn't condemn him. He said, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, Lord, you know I love you. And he said, but Peter, do you love me? And he said, Lord, you know my heart. You know all about me. You know everything I've ever done. You know I love you. Yeah. And Peter, and, and Jesus said, but do you love me more than these? Lord. Hallelujah. He looked into the heart of Peter. And he wanted to know Peter loved him more than the guilt, than the sorrow, than the shame that he felt for betraying him. I've been there. For many years, I wandered around in the desert, in the wilderness. I didn't want to come back to Jesus because I had betrayed him. I had let him down. I had failed him, and I didn't feel worthy. I was ashamed, and I was full of guilt. Because I had stood in testimony services like we had earlier and said, Oh, don't they all turn away, God? I'll never turn away. Hallelujah. Those words came out of my mouth, just like they did Peter's. But when it came and my feet were held to the fire, I turned and walked away. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God came to me one day. Yeah. Oh, he wouldn't leave me alone. I was suicidal. All <laughs> oh, my finances were in a wreck when I lived in Meade County. Oh, hallelujah. And Olivia had just been born. And my life was a mess. Hallelujah. And I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know I was going to lose everything. I praise God. And I got in my truck and I drove and I didn't want to live anymore. I didn't even know where I was going. Oh, God. And I ended up at Pastor Brown's church, yeah. the Lighthouse yeah. Mission Church in Vine Grove. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. I didn't even know they were still open. I hadn't been there in so many years. I praise God that there was still a beacon, a light, a place for me to go. Thank you, and I got on my face and I didn't care what was going on around me. I needed help. Yeah. I was tired of being in the valley of Acorn. and I got on my face and I screamed to God. Yes, yes. Oh, don't turn your face from me, Jesus. Okay. I'm sorry, God. I've let yes. you down and I failed you, but don't turn your face from me. In disgust, Jesus, please, God. Yes. And snot came out my nose and oh, tears were rolling on my face and I was screaming and rolling yes. all over the floor and they probably thought I was crazy. But like David said, in my distress, I cried out unto the Lord, and he heard me. If you've never been in distress, then you don't understand the way I was calling on God to help me. Hallelujah. I was in distress. I couldn't help myself. I needed help. And, God, and Pastor Brown walked up to me, and she said, I don't know what you've asked God for and what you want him to do, but he spoke to me and told me to tell you it's done. Hallelujah. 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 She, I'm going to tell you right now, it wasn't no crack in the sky, no lightning came down, no booming voice. 
I got up on my off the floor, wiping the snot from my nose and dry my eyes, and I went home and I didn't feel no different. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like anything had changed. All right, all right. Until three days later. Three. Hallelujah, Jesus. I went to work and I told him I was quitting. Hallelujah. I couldn't do it no more. Hallelujah. They gave me a ten thousand dollar a year raise. Gave me a company truck with a gas card right. and gave me two thousand five hundred dollars to, to get a lawyer Thank and fight for Jesus. custody of my kids and Thank told me you. I didn't even have to pay it back. <laughs> Hallelujah! That's my God. Thank he you, took Lord. my Valley of Acorn yes. and he gave me a door of hope. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus! Yes. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. So I'm here to tell you today, wherever you are, wherever you are. if you're in trouble. If you're broken, you're broken, if things in your life are a mess, oh, yes. it may be your fault, yes. maybe circumstances of life, Jesus. whatever the cost, Jesus is the answer. Yes. He wants to turn your valley of acorn into a door of hope. Yes. Hallelujah. Just because you've fallen doesn't mean you got to stay down. Hallelujah. You're a just man, yes. a righteous man yes. can get back up. Hallelujah. You don't have to be perfect to serve God. Mm -hmm. He's not asking for, per for perfection. Mm -hmm. He's not asking for perfection. Mm -hmm. He's asking for honesty mm -hmm. and truth. He wants you to be honest with him. Love him. Hallelujah. He's seeking your heart today. Oh, hallelujah. I'm yes, going to ask yes, if anyone yes, wants yes, to come and yes. pray, they can come up front yes. or pray with you. You can Thank kneel you. down in front of these hallelujah. chairs here. Hallelujah. hallelujah. But I believe God was speaking to someone today. Hallelujah. That you may be in the valley of Acor at this moment, but there's a door of hope yes. that God wants to bring you through, Jesus. through the righteous blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Uh, you can be forgiven for all your sins. Yes. You can be forgiven for all your faults and failures. Yes. Hallelujah. You only need asking. Hallelujah. And he's faithful to do us exceedingly and abundantly above all you could hope or think. Yes. God will do it for you because he loves you. He died for you. He had heaven yeah. and all of creation. Yes. But he laid it all down to come to earth. Because he didn't want heaven without us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm -hmm. The world today. Of him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the Thank you all for coming out today. God bless everyone in Jesus' name.